Coach, uh, take us back to Saturdays with Michigan State, the WWE 3 2. Yeah, tough match. Uh, you know, the number three team playing number 14 at, at number 14's place. And uh, it was 15-13 uh, in the fifth. Proud of the way we battled. I think we uh, we learned a few things that we can benefit from. And um, as difficult as uh, as losing is, I think that's the, the best thing that comes from it is an opportunity to learn. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll be better for it. You mentioned tough team. Uh, look, three out of the next four, you've got Iowa, Nebraska, Penn State. Uh, doesn't get much tougher than that. Yeah, it's a very, very interesting conference right now. Uh, every night's a battle, and uh, you know it's um, it's the reality of our circumstance. I guess we just got to play it, you know, match to match, point to point, and see what happens. On the football side, there's not a lot of love for Iowa. How about for volleyball? Is that a heated rivalry as well? Uh, you know, I think. Uh, the way the conference is, you know, I, I don't think we're going to try and play special Iowa volleyball or, and no disrespect to them or, or, you know, special Wisconsin volleyball or special Nebraska volleyball. We just got to play gopher volleyball. And, uh, and you know, like we said, every match is a battle. We just got to do everything we can to win uh, every night, see what happens from there. Dave, from a uh, player perspective, uh, any particular teams, though, that, that stands out where there's more of a rivalry or, or even friction between the teams? From a um, I wouldn't say in particular teams when we go away. There's different environments that are fun to play in. Like Illinois always has a great crowd. Wisconsin has a great crowd. Penn State, it's fun to play at. But each team we just take as a new team and we come out and compete. Does this feel like the most competitive year, day in, day out, game in, game out, that you've had since you got here? Well, every year the Big Ten has been competitive, but this year definitely they're extremely strong and every team is competitive. So I would say so. Mm -hmm. I'd agree. Coach, I don't know how the RPI is set up, but I know that Penn State's not in the top ten. That seems to be something odd about that. Uh, I think it's a function of um, some of the preseason stuff. Uh, so I don't know. I haven't looked too closely at the preseason schedule, but that might be the, the difference maker. But uh, we, we know they're good, so. Uh, we don't need RPI to tell us that. <laughs> when you look forward, uh, it's ways to go yet to the NCAA tournament. Uh, there should be a very high number of Big Ten teams that make the NCAA tournament. Yeah, there should be. Yeah, we'd expect that to be the case. Yep. A number? Uh, you know, I don't know. I'd say that the, well, how many Big Ten teams are in the top 25 now? Nine, I think. So you'd think hopefully nine. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, seven, eight, nine, somewhere in there. You'd expect there'd be a good, a good sprinkling of us in there. Mm. Thank you. A bit of a reflection back on the season up to this point, from a, again from a player standpoint. Yeah, we've had some tough matches. We've played some good teams, and I think we've just consistently gotten better throughout it. And last week was a test to that. Just playing good teams in the same week, just consistency and like working on that. Coming in as a, with a competitive mindset every single game, I think that's gotten us a lot better, and I think we'll continue to improve as the season goes on. Do you hear any more than me now? Uh, you know, in terms of things, I know you. You know I'm a coach, right? Yes. So we're perpetually dissatisfied. You know that's our that's our job, I think. So uh, I always think there's room for improvement, and um, and I think one of the great things about this group is that the, you know we've we've gotten better every week, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to do that. Um, but, uh, you know, the hits keep on coming. Last week we got to play uh, the number one team in the country, uh, according to the AVCA. This week we get to do that again on their court, um, you know, as well as a, a number of other strong, strong teams. And um, it's, a, it's an awesome thing to be a part of, and I, I mean awesome in, in every sense of the word. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's daunting. It's great. It, it stretches you competitively and emotionally. And, um, I think our athletes have um, have really dealt with the first half of the season pretty well, considering you know seven of ten have been on the road, um, and hopefully we can you know get some uh, some good mojo on the on the back end here with seven of ten at home in November. Great job from again the asking standpoint. You got Iowa, Nebraska on the road. How much how much more difficult is it? You don't have the element issue to worry about like the outside sports, but you still have your crowd issue. How much more difficult is it to win on the road? 
Well, it's just um, six players in a ball in a different court, and energy's energy, so going away, they'll both have pretty good crowds there for us, so we're excited to play in their gym. It's always fun to go to Nebraska. They have a lot of energy there and just play them. So, um, yeah, it's tough going away, and it, it's nice to be at home and use the crowd, but I think going away, there's also benefits that we can use, too. I think it teaches our athletes to create that energy themselves instead of relying on the crowd. We, we love the crowd. The Pavs just such an awesome place to play. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you're looking to NCAA tournaments, um, you know, they're not going to hold the, the final four here. We don't even know about regionals yet. So um, developing that ability to create, uh, you know, our, our stuff on our own without relying on the 5,000 or 6,000 people at the Pav is always a good thing for us. From your standpoint, uh, where the team is today uh, in terms of what you, were, what you foresaw when the season started, uh, where are they at? Well, I'm certainly happy with the progress. Um, as I said, I still think there's a ways to go for us. Uh, but um, th this team works very hard. Um, they have developed a, a very large capacity for work, and uh, they make changes. You know, we've gotten into trouble a few times, and we've learned some lessons. and. Uh, we've gotten better as a result of that. I think that's an important trait for a, a high-functioning team to have. They're very uh, well connected. Um, you know, that's uh, we're not a theater troupe. You know, we're not not a lot of drama. There's just a lot of people that want to get to work and get better. And so it's a, it's a great group to work with. I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, well, I think we're in a good spot. And like I said, our best is yet to come. When you play on the road, and you talk about those places, maybe where there's more energy. Do you do you hear much in terms of uh, any mean-spirited comments from fans? Or sure. Yeah. Yeah. Personal stuff thrown in. Yeah, we just try and block it out and focus on the game, and I feel like our team does a pretty good job at that. But the crowds can get a little hostile. It's just what you deal with. You get a little nasty or personal. <laughs> There's times where, Paige, maybe 15, 20 years ago, there might not have been as much of a crowd around volleyball. But now, if you got to go through a couple of people that might want to come after you, kind of, all right, hey, at least we're on the road playing a sold out gym. Right. Yeah, it's fun. It's great how the sport has grown, and it's great that people care about volleyball. So it's fun to play anywhere in the country. I would agree. This is a pretty, uh, a pretty special time in, in uh, Big Ten collegiate volleyball, no question. The, the, depth of talent, the, the caliber of teams and coaching that's going on, it's, um, it's a pretty amazing thing. How do you attribute that to better coaching, better facilities, better uh, yeah, talent well, base in the region? Yeah, it's th that's a good list. And, and I think um, Big Ten Network has certainly helped, you know, getting, uh, getting our matches on TV, uh, having the, the access uh, has been great. And, um, you know, it's, it's – Again, just using that word, it's awesome. It's it's uh, it's an incredible thing, and we, as tough as it is, um, we, we feel very honored and privileged to be a part of it. How about as far as the high school the, the tying right in was at uh, I'm down there in section one around at Rochester, and I just yesterday looked at all the conferences around there, and I was struck by how much improvement there's been in volleyball at every class compared to just five or ten years ago. Yeah, I think that's that's accurate. Your observation is certainly in line with mine. And when we're out there recruiting, the caliber of athlete, the the skill level of these uh, young women is increasing uh, at a very fast pace. So it's um, it's a sport that's evolving quickly. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you.